guys, it's Erica with Crippin' Spoopin' Scoopin'. Welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a little bit of a different type of video. Obviously, I'm like in a different setup. <laughs> I don't really like to record videos in my house just because like the lighting really sucks in my house and there's always kids running all over the place. I like to record videos in my truck. This video is about how I process credit cards, which means I need to have my laptop and I can't do that in my truck because of the Wi-Fi situation. So um, I've been trying to figure out how to do this video because I can't do screenshots, I can't do a screen recording because my customer information will actually come up on there and I personally do not have the editing capabilities or education to edit all of that stuff out. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm just gonna pull my laptop up and I am going to verbally kind of direct you guys how I set up my invoices. Um, so hopefully this video turns out okay. So if you're interested in seeing this video, stay tuned. Okay, so you uh, want to use Square for your credit card processing. Awesome. I love it. I personally like it. It is my preferred method. I have other people that have tried to talk me out of it. I don't care. It's easy and it's what works for me right now. So let me log into my laptop. All right. So when you want to use Square, if you don't already have an account, you can set up an account. You just have to use your like email address. So there's a couple different ways that you can actually sign up for Square. You can just do it on your own. You could go through the app. You could go through the um, desktop version or you can have somebody send you their link. And if they send you uh, their link, you could actually get free processing and the person that sends it to you gets free processing as well. I'm not really too sure the dollar amount, but it has to do with like the referral system or whatnot. So if that's something you're interested in, I can send you my link and I will try to include it in the description. This video is not sponsored or anything. Um, <laughs> my channel doesn't have any sponsors. This is just something that they offer like standard to everybody, not just for me. So you create your account, you sign in. All right, so when you log in, at least on my version of it, I go over to invoices, which is on the on the left-hand side. Uh, click on invoices, go to uh, create invoice. And if the create invoice is over to the left side of the screen, it's a blue button that says create invoice. So the new invoice will come up at the top of it. It will say customer info. So you're just going to want to click on there. If you already have your customer set up in here, then you can just click their name or start typing their name and they'll auto populate. You click on them. If you haven't done so yet, you can just type in, let's see, Betty, Betty Bob, <laughs> Betty Bob. So a thing uh, like a, a screen is going to pop up and it's going to say create customer. So the basic information will be uh, first name, last name, and email address. The email address is very, very important. The email address on file is where the invoices are going to be sent. So if you don't have the email address correct, then the invoice will not be sent to the right person. And then you'll be wondering why they haven't paid you. Well, because they haven't seen your invoice. So Betty Bob, you type in their email address. Uh, Betty Bob Buckrack da, 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 at gmail.com and then you hit save. So then boom, they're in there. Now it's time to set up the invoice. So you go down to invoice title. In the invoice title, I always type in dog waste removal. Sometimes I'll add like extra notes just depending on what it, whatever it is that I want. The option where it says invoice ID, I just let that auto populate. And in the message portion, I went into my settings and I created like a message that I want to be sent out every single time. Mine says, thank you for choosing Krupen's Poopin' Scoopin'. We appreciate your business. Please leave us a review on our Facebook page and then I included our Facebook link. 
now that I think about it, I probably should include my Google link. I'll do that at a later time. Then you go down to invoice method and it, I like to have it sent via email. Sometimes you can have it sent manually. So you go in and you manually send it out or charge card on file. You can click that option, but you need to have their credit card information right then and there. I personally haven't done that method, that method yet. So I always have mine sent out by email. Then you go down to frequency. You can either set it up as a one time or reoccurring. I like to set my stuff up as reoccurring if it's a reoccurring service. So I hit reoccurring. Then we drop down to reoccurring schedule. When do you want the invoice to start? Next week, today, tomorrow, at the end of the month, you choose. I'm gonna have mine uh, starting immediately. Then if you go over to the right, it says repeat every, and then it has an option. Um, right now it says one and then the month. I have my repeat every four weeks because my billing is four weeks at a time. When does this end? Um, never because it's reoccurring. Say for instance, if they only want to hire you for like three months, you can have it end three months from now. You set that up how you want to set it up. And then each invoice is due when you want the invoice due. If I send it out on Tuesday, right? Because their service is Wednesday, I sometimes will have it due Wednesday or I'll have it due Thursday by the end of the day. I give them a little bit of a grace period. So we'll just say that it's due on Wednesday. And then there's an option where it says automatic payments. I always give them the option to set up automatic payments if they want. I like that. And then you go down to line item. And then I already have presets set in mine. Um, I didn't do this at first, so all my stuff is like a hot mess. <laughs> my reports, I, it, things weren't like categorized appropriately, but I'm now starting to learn to use my preset library items because that allows for my reports to be more accurate. And I can see like how many one-time cleans I have that are one dog, how many two dog clients I have. And it just kind of helps me out when I'm trying to like figure out my numbers because that's very important is knowing your numbers. Um, I'm still working on that. <laughs> so we're gonna just say that this is a um, one week worth of waste, two dogs, zone one. Zone one is a backyard for me. So for two dogs, for a one week scoop, that's $15 for me. So that's on your line item. And then you go over here to quantity. I'm gonna change that to four, right? Because uh, it's four weeks at a time. So that is going to be a $60 bill that's going to be sent out. And now you go down to where it says more options. You can add reminders if you want. Go ahead, you set that up however you want to. I like to set up reminders, it just works. Um, where it says shipping uh, address, I don't really request the shipping address because I already know their address. Where it says tipping, I click that because hey, if they wanna tip me, thanks. <laughs> yes, please. And then where it says attachments, you can add an attachment. What I typically do is I like to attach the um, my policies and procedures when I send out that first invoice. So I have like a, a document, a PDF document of all my policies and procedures, snow days, rain days, whatever else that's in there. It's like, gosh, I want to say it's like a six page, seven page document. It's pretty lengthy. Um, I usually attach that to there. Then you go up to the top and you can hit preview save as draft or send. If you want to see what it looks like before you send it, do the preview. Looks good. I looked it all over. I hit close and then I hit send. Bam. And then it gets sent to them and then they get it. And then you can actually look into your, um, into your queue. So say for instance, you send it it's been a week, they haven't paid it, and you're like, hmm, why haven't they paid? You go back to invoices, you click on overdue, you click on their name, 
under ID, it'll have like um, their ID number. It will tell you under that if it was viewed or not viewed. So if for instance, you send them a message they're like, oh, I never seen it, but you can tell if they seen it and you're just like, oh, no worries. Would you like for me to resend it to you? That's usually how I handle that situation. I'm never like, you didn't pay your bill, pay me now. I'm like, oh, no worries, I'll send it to you. Just make sure you pay it by the end of today just to avoid a uh, paused service. That typically works. I have had a handful of people not pay, but what can you do? Actually, I got $1,200 in people that haven't paid. Oh! I need to go through and send reminders. They're a little bit behind, they're like behind by like, one person's pretty behind. A couple days, couple days. This one person's like way behind. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I actually need to get caught back up on my billing. I'm a little bit behind right now. Um, this past week has been a little wild. And I typically do um, my reminders on Sundays, but I don't know what happened this Sunday. It kind of got away from me, so I didn't didn't end up doing that. Um, let's see. What else can I show you guys? Estimates. I don't really do any of those. You can go down to your reports and you can run different reports. I'm not too familiar with that stuff yet. That's a work in progress for me. Um, you can go to your account and settings. That is where you can kind of like set up all your information, change your password, do like a passcode, um, set up like your language and your time zone. Oh, and account and setting is where uh, you can get free processing. So if you click on the little thing that says get free processing, this is where I can share my link with you guys. Offer one, I have no rewards. Offer one is you get $1,000 for free, receive free processing up to $1,000 in sales over the next 80 days on all card transactions. Oh, that's nice. Or offer two. $20 off Square contactless plus chip reader. No thanks. Transactions, you can look at all your transactions. If you click on balance, that's going to tell you how, uh, how much money you have that needs to be deposited into your bank account. So yesterday, I, it was like almost 900 bucks. Today, I've only had $242 worth of transactions, which, yeah, that's not that, that's not that good, but it's not bad. At least it's something. I hate it when I hate when I see zero. When no transactions happen that day, that's when I'm like, show me the money. I need the monies. Um, you can go to transfer reports, square card. I don't have that. Transfer settings. And then you can set that up how you want. You can instantly transfer funds. I personally don't do that because it I I feel like it costs more money. Oh yeah, there's a 1.5% fee if you instantly transfer. No thank you. Um, and then if you click down, you can go into your customers. That's where you have all your customer information. Then you also have your teams. Um, my, my girl in Muskegon, Jessica, she also has access to all of this because she, so, I own Crippin's Poopin' Scoopin'. I, you know, whatever. I put it all together. I set everything up. But Jessica is like my, she's, she's not the owner of Muskegon's Crippin's Poopin' Scoopin' yet, but she's the one that like takes care of everything. So she does all the billing. She takes care of all that stuff. So pretty much everything that I have access to, she has access to, except for like a couple admin things that um, I'm the only one that has access to. So if I want to see her transactions, I want to see who owes her money, because uh, essentially if they owe her money, they owe me money. Um, I go under Teams and I can see all of her stuff. She has her own separate login, but she pretty much can do everything that she needs to do. And I like that because it's nice when you're the business owner. Um, there's a lot going on. It's like, ugh, you're all over the place. But it's nice to have employees that can take care of stuff too, so it like takes stuff off of my plate and she handles it and then if there's ever an issue she checks back in with me but I I like to 
have them be as independent as possible just because if every little thing that they do they have to like check in with me for it's like I might as well just do it myself but my employees are pretty independent and they they take care of stuff and that's how I want my business like they know exactly what they're supposed to do and how we like to do things but they handle it unless there's like oh crap I don't know what to do here then they come to me <sighs> I like it like that um the other option is like orders and payroll I don't mess with any of those so yeah that's my little run through you can do marketing on here you can do the gift cards online store there's a lot of different options there's a lot of different things that you can do with square i just use like the basic of basic because that's all i need i just need it to be super basic and process their credit cards i hope this video helped you guys um i really do i hope that it was brought i hope it brought some value to you i hope i didn't ramble on too much if you need me to go into detail a little bit more on a specific topic let me know. I would love to um, get on the phone with you and do a call if that's something that you're interested in. If you need more help walking through it step by step, we can do like a, a phone call or like a Zoom or if you have an iPhone, we could do like an iPhone chat or something like that. So let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if this was helpful to you. If you liked it, smash that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you know, there's money for that as well. But don't do that. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Please subscribe. I post videos weekly. I don't really have a schedule yet. I'm working on that. But until next time, bye.